Within the galaxy, there are at least two known planes of reality. The Void, a material realm that submits to the laws of physics, and the Warp, where reality is bent to impossible and madness-inducing standards. Through the Warp, other realities and universes are linked. Even then, there are certain individuals who seem to exist within multiple universes at once. Now while these individuals may indeed have minute changes, such as an alternate spelling of their name, or have changed from male to female, or even from living to undead, these doppelgangers seem to undergo similar, if not outright identical events that their counterparts experience. From the Imperium of Man, the characters of Sister Ephrael Stern of the Adeptus Sororitas, Inquisitor Silas Hand, Captain Leanatos of the Blood Angels, Cal Jericho the Necromundan Bounty Hunter, and the crew of the Titan Imperius Dictatio all appear within the universe of the world that was once known as Warhammer Fantasy. Conversely, the Dark Elf warrior Malus Darkblade, the witch hunter Hellbrandt Grimm, and the Imperial mercenaries Ulia Maquand all appear within the universe of Warhammer 40,000. These individuals have all adapted for their appearance in their, for lack of a better term, opposite universe. For the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on those Warhammer 40,000 characters who have a doppelganger within Warhammer Fantasy. If you wish to see a follow-up video where we detail the Warhammer Fantasy characters who have a doppelganger within Warhammer 40,000, then leave a comment below. The sister of battle, Ephrael Stern, has her doppelganger in Ephrael Von Stern, a warrior of the Sisterhood of Sigmar, who, much like the Adeptus Sororitas, are a holy order of all female warriors dedicated to hunting heretics and demons. Ephrael Von Stern is the sole survivor of a patrol within the ruined and chaos-tainted city of Mordheim, the City of the Damned. The warriors of the Sisterhood send out another patrol along with Ephrael Von Stern to find the Chaos cultists who slaughtered their sisters, and eventually encounter the warband of the witch hunter Silas Hanshaf, the doppelganger of Inquisitor Silas Hand. Interestingly, the warband that Silas leads all bear heraldry that is similar to that of the Black Templar Space Marine chapter, who also played a major role within Ephrael Stern's story. Ephrael von Stern, much like her counterpart within the Imperium, also becomes imbued with great power, though in this case it is said to be the power of Sigmar, the god king of the human nation known as the Empire. With this power, Von Stern slaughters the Chaos cultists with an inferno of purifying flame. This version of events is a highly condensed version of events that appear to be extremely similar to those that Ephrael Stern herself underwent. Both were the sole survivors of their groups, both encounter a man named Silas, and both became imbued with godlike power whilst fighting against heretics. Cal Jericho, the bounty hunter from the world of Necromunda, has his doppelganger in the form of Cal Jericho, the duelist and adventurer from the country of Talia within the Empire. Jericho and his manservant Scabretto, the doppelganger of Cal Jericho's mutant friend Scabs, are adrift at sea before being pulled on board a ship full of pirates. Once on board the ship, Jericho is forced to duel against a massive pirate and former pit fighter, Darlevan Fegg, who himself is the doppelganger for Vandal Fegg, the renegade pit slave. Much like his doppelganger, Van Fegg also has one hand, replaced with a pirate's hook similar to how Vandal Fegg had the same arm replaced with bionics, as well as both only having one eye and both having septum piercings. Calgarico eventually 
through sheer luck more than anything else, manages to best Van Fegg, impaling him with a boarding hook. Before he could celebrate, Gerico is threatened by the ship's captain, Yolanda Catali, the doppelganger of the Necromundan noblewoman Yolanda Catalus, who was also known as Outland's Annie, leader of the Wildcats' Escher gang. Before Catali could kill Gerico, the duelist would burn down the ship and escape along with Scabretto in a manner eerily similar to when Cal Jericho managed to escape the Wildcat gang by dropping a frag grenade into their campfire. As you can see, this doppelganger of Cal Jericho's story seems to combine elements from both the first and second appearances of the Necromundan bounty hunter. Next we have the Imperius Dictatio. Within the Imperium of Man, the Imperius Dictatio is a Warlord class Titan, so presumably would have little to nothing in the way of a doppelganger, right? Wrong. Here, the Imperius Dictatio has its equivalent in the form of a massive and heavily armoured Empire steam tank. The Titan's Princep, Irvin Hecate, is represented here with the driver of the steam tank, Irvin von Hecate. Unlike the Titan of the Imperium, the steam tank and its crew do not face off against the Greenskins and their war machines, but instead the tank is used to help combat an army of Skaven, and meets its match in the form of a Vermin Lord, a greater demon of the Horned Rat. And finally, the Blood Angels Leonatos, Lysander and Cloten have their doppelgangers in the form of three Blood Dragon Vampire Knights. Leonatos, formerly of the Knight's Panther, Lysanders, formerly a Bretonian Grail Knight, and Cloten being formerly of the Knights of the White Wolf, which is the reason for the latter's savagery in this universe as opposed to slowly falling to the Black Rage. This is one of the few instances where the events between Leonatos and his doppelganger have only one link, as both travel to areas where the energies of Chaos are prominent. The warp in the Blood Angels case and the Realm of Chaos in the north for the Blood Dragons. But both of these groups of warriors are indeed on a quest to find a certain goal. The Blade in Carmine, Sword of Sanguinius in the case of the Blood Angels, and a never ending war called the Forever Battle where blood is always spilled in the case of the Blood Dragons. However, aside from that, the Blood Dragon doppelgangers of Leonatos and his men are both heavily armoured, blessed with superhuman strength and a thirst for blood, much like the warriors of the Blood Angel Space Marine chapter. As we mentioned earlier, these instances of doppelgangers appearing is not entirely one way. For certain individuals within Warhammer Fantasy also have their doppelgangers appear within the Warhammer 40,000 universe. So if you want to see a part 2 where we detail these particular characters, leave a comment below and thanks for watching.